Scary? Yeah. It ends with a big week of sailing, but it starts out real slow on the Prevezza Town Quay. So we've been staying in the Prevezza Town Quay for the week while Kel recovers a little bit from her operation. And we've decided to take care of a couple of housekeeping jobs. One of those is fixing once and for all our anchor windlass, which keeps spitting chain. Uh, and the problem is our splitter was bent. The windlass managed to catch our splitter and bend it. Uh, and I've just walked for a few kilometers to find a metal worker in Preveza and he cut and re-welded my splitter. So I'm gonna put that back on and hopefully that fixes that problem. So a couple of episodes back, we managed to strip the cap for the deck fill. The cap was made of plastic and you use a winch handle to open it up. And eventually it, the winch handle just carves a, a hole in the middle of the thing, so you can't get it out. Can't seem to find a replacement anywhere. It was manufactured by a brand called Amiot. Doesn't seem to exist online. So I've got to go ahead and replace the whole deck fill, the whole bit that goes through the deck and connects to the fuel tank below deck. Okay, that's the fuel tank. And at the top there you can see where it attaches to the deck fill. So we might go ahead and loosen that from inside. Okay, now we can go above deck and hopefully get the deck fill out of the deck. It's the new deck fill, which silicon to end it screwed into place. Okay, last step, we should be able to get back in and tighten the diesel hose onto the new deck fill. I remember how to turn this on. After finishing a couple of boat jobs and with Kel feeling a little better, we get out to explore Prevetsa before our departure the following day. We're leaving Prevetsa. We stayed there for a week. It was a very low key week. The Prevetsa Town Key is a really great place to come and stay. It's cheap, it's cheerful. I think we paid $8 for the first night and $4 for every subsequent night. So a dollar a metre the first night, and 50 cents a metre the following nights. Uh, the people there are very nice. On the northern end of the Town Key, they do chase you off occasionally when there's a big charter boat coming. But besides that, it's really good. And there's a lot of noise from people on the promenade at night. But if you're okay with that, it's a really nice stopover. And now we're heading back north. So this is sort of the final leg of our Greece trip for the season. We're going to sail up the Greek coastline, the mainland coast, from Provenza to Two Rocks Bay tonight, where we've been many times before. Uh, tomorrow we'll sail to Targa and then on to Sabota, uh, which has some beautiful anchorages. Then on Sunday we'll sail to Corfu, we'll anchor near the old town for the week and next weekend we'll, we're going to leave to Albania. So yeah, last last bit of Greece for the season. Um, we've got good wind with us now. We're sailing hard to wind. It's only blowing it out seven, eight knots, so pretty slow going. It's about midday now and we should get in around six. Boats healing. 
How are you feeling? Pretty good. Mentally preparing for when our friends visit and I gotta be strong and tough and brave. Like a warrior. What's your um, mantra against fear that you just told me? Fear is for the little man. I wash myself of fear. I leave it behind like the wake behind me. Wow, and you just made that up? I just made it up. we've ever seen two rocks, huh? Yeah, maybe. Busy on shore and heaps of people anchoring. is key in the boat, huh? I wish. Unfortunately, I just found the pasta in the junk drawer. <laughs> you have a junk drawer no matter, no matter where you are, huh? On the boat, in the van, in your house, at, off, at your office. Did we have a junk drawer in the van? It was a junk box, I believe. Saturday morning set to be 35 degrees today. Yeah, really hot. There's a heat wave coming through Greece at the moment. We've got a four hour sail to get up to Savota. Luckily we'll be in a beautiful little bay where we can swim. Hopefully there's less boats around, but... There's probably 20 boats here today, which is insane. But I guess it's big enough to house everybody. We're quite close to some people. Some people have already left this morning. It's time to head off. There's not much wind about, so we are motoring slowly towards the boater. We put out the lure, more out of habit these days than any belief that we will ever catch anything else in the med. Soon enough, the wind picks up and it's time to take out the sails. Tonight we're going to stop in 
Sabota. And if I look ahead, I can see Corfe where we're headed tomorrow. Final stop. The afternoon wears on, the wind dies away, but we are still miles from Savota. We resign ourselves to a hot, still motor for the remainder of the afternoon. full of tourists as expected although I expected most of them to have already gone back to their accommodation but um, we managed to find a bit of sand and now we're making dinner we're having steak and salad I just want to let you know how unbelievably hot it is I am literally sitting in my own sweat and it's a heat wave in Grace and it is hot. I mean hot. And Eddie is now licking the bowl of our steak. <laughs> so then you can see behind me, but the beautiful blue eye has now become infiltrated with so many tourist boats and people. We spend the morning in Savota, hoping that the wind that has blessed us the last two days will return, but conditions remain hot and still. So after lunch, we decide to motor to Corfu. Change of plan, we were headed towards the Corfu anchorage, but we've decided to go to Masongi, where we will spend a few nights. Oh, 
super fun on the boat when there's nothing going on is we try to get the other person. Good work. We finally reach Misongi. The weekend has given us a taste of the heat wave ahead and we are honestly a bit worried about the weeks in front of us. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. So good. Ooh. Ha. How you feel? Ooh. You lost it. Ha. Feel good. You're too Ooh. fast. Ha. How you feel? Ooh. Ha. Feel good. Ooh. Ha. How you feel? Ooh.